Hello everyone, today we are going to use performance history matrix of Linux server. Generally when we want to see current CPU usage or memory usage, we use top command. It shows us what is the current CPU usage or memory usage in percentage. But suppose we want to see the history of CPU or memory usage or two or three days back what was the CPU usage at the particular time. So for this task we use SAR command. This is system activity report and it is a default package. But if it is not installed in your Linux server, you can install it using these commands. Suppose it is a Debian based system like Ubuntu, you can install using apt-get or if it is yum based system like Fedora or CentOS or Red Hat, you can install it using yum command. So in Red Hat or CentOS, the directory where all logs are installed that is where log sa the directory is different in ubuntu system the directory is where logs is state here you can see all the history of the logs so suppose you want to see current day usage you can simply run sar hyphen u and here it shows cpu usage of current day so if you want to see some old logs, you need to check this directory in Ubuntu system where log sys state and you can see all the logs with the date. So suppose if I want to see CPU usage of 8th, then I can run this command sar-f sys state s is 0 8 and you can see it is showing all the CPU usage with the time so the time interval is 10 minutes and it is also there in configuration file we can change this I'm going to show show you this shortly suppose you do not want to use SAR command so there is another file is generated with SA 08 there is SAR 08 it is a plain text file and you need to just cat it to read the content it is also showing the same data suppose uh, you are not able to see any logs in your where logs is state directory suppose uh, this directory is empty then you need to set one parameter you need to check this file on your Ubuntu system cat etc default and system here enabled either this parameter is set as false or this parameter is not there so you need to just add it if it is not there enabled is equal to true then you need to restart system service this is the command to restart the service after adding this line enable it is equal to true and restarting the service the log should be generated then you will see this folder you will see this SAR or SA file with the date suppose the default configuration is it is stores last seven days records so if you see this file etc sys state and sys state see this is different file where I have I have made the changes this enable is equal to this is inside default now I am open, opening configuration file that is inside sys state so if you see this file the history is equal to 7 so default value is 7 days it is stores last 7 days records and if you want to make the compressed file or zip file of these records you can also set it so after if the records is older than five days then it converts into zip file in the same directory so if you see my directory you can see this value it is going to compress this file so if the records is older than five days if you are changing any value like if you want to set the history 30 days then you can change it and you need to restart system service this state service is using a crone so that's how it stores the records in this log file if you see 
this is the crone the time period is 10 minutes so that's why if you see the interval time the interval difference is 10 minutes because after every 10 minutes it is going to run this command and going to store the data if you want the record should be added after every 5 minutes then you need to change this value to 5 so after every 5 minutes this command will be executed and the it, it stores the history of CPU usage and other usage after every 5 minutes it not only shows you CPU usage you can see other usage like memory statistics you need to pass the parameter minus R to see the memory I want to see the memory statistics of earth I will use this command just I am going to pass this parameter hyphen R and then it is going to show me all the statistics of memory similarly if I want to see input output disk usage I need to pass the parameter minus B this is input output usage of Linux server of Earth similarly for network history I need to pass the parameter minus N and it will show the network history of Earth you can also see the block device history if you want to see the history of a specific time period you need to pass minus s start and minus n timing here so this is the block device history so that's why I have used minus dp parameter if you want to see only CPU usage you do not need to pass any parameter so on 8th it is going to see the history between 7 and 730 you can see here 75 and 725 but suppose I want to see other usage like memory I will use the parameter hyphen R and it is memory usage between 7 and 730 similarly I want to see CPU usage I do not want to pass any parameter here just minus S and minus E start and end time and this is the CPU usage history of of earth so by this method you can always check your performance history of your Linux server. I hope this tutorial will help you. Thank you for watching.